Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and J.D. Byers. Yeah, welcome into the Bobby Wallace Show, everybody. The Lions pick up a big victory here at Brawley Stadium in Florence tonight in front of 12,526 with the head coach, Bobby Wallace. Coach, there's been a lot of big wins in this stadium. There's been a lot of victories. You've been behind a lot of them. This will go down in the annals as one of the historic victories. Yes, I, I, I haven't been around an atmosphere like this uh, since the 95 season. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's been some great games in here while I was gone and some playoff games and uh, uh, championship games, but uh, that was a great atmosphere tonight. Great with the crowd, uh, great uh, enthusiasm. West Alabama had a good crowd. Uh, uh, the kids played their hearts out. I mean, they were determined at halftime to go out there and win that football game, and uh, they did just that. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great effort by our team. You were talking about at halftime, the determination, because at that point, they were down two scores. We trailed by 14 in intermission. We didn't play that bad in the first half, I didn't think, but we uh, gave up a long play, a run, uh, and then, you know, we fumbled the kickoff after they scored, and, uh, you know, they got two quick scores there uh, that made it look a little worse than it was, I thought. I thought offensively we really played well, but, uh, you know, they hung in there. I told the only thing I said at halftime, I said a lot of teams have been behind 14 points, come back and win. Uh, in fact, I remember being down, I think, 14 points to Portland State in 1993, twice in the second half, and uh, coming back and winning that game to, to vault us into the number one in the country. So, uh, you know, they were determined to do that. Uh, I was worried about our defense on th in the third quarter. We still have not allowed a point in the third quarter all year long. And I was kind of scared because they were talking about that. I was kind of scared that if they did score that it would really not, we wouldn't give up, but it would deflate us. But, but boy, we didn't let them score. Turnovers, we got turnovers and, uh, you know, of course we turned it over too much, but uh, that's a great game, great atmosphere. 30 to 27, the Lions get the victory in overtime over West Alabama in the 67th all-time meeting between the Lions and the Tigers. And we'll get to some highlights when we come back on the Bobby Wallace Show. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa, and by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show, and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTFireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy items from Little Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Little Steve's, with seven locations. Pine Street in Florence, on Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Chisholm Road, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue, Muscle Shoals, and Highway 72, Rogersville. Little Steve's, believe in America. Recapping UNA's big win, 30 to 27 over the Tigers of West Alabama here on the Bobby Wallace Show. And coach, go out to the opening coin toss and we actually win the coin toss. They go on a drive and West Alabama does what they do. They drive, but we hold them to a field goal. Well, we did. We, uh, and that was big. Uh, you know, they have a really quick little running back in Swindle and of course the quarterback is just He's just a, a Houdini. I mean, you can't you can't get him corralled up. And uh, he's got a good arm, throws the ball. He's smart and competitor. And uh, uh, they utilize those two guys and uh, and were able to drive the football. But getting the big stop down there and making them kick the field goal, you know, ended up winning the football game. You don't know when you're going to win a game until it's over with and you look back. But uh, that you know, might have made all the difference in the world in the game. And uh, and then to turn around and, and get the kickoff and come back and answer them. Uh, you know, that was great on our offensive part. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, you know, Cody did a great job calling the plays and uh, mixing things up and uh, 
Had a good game plan both sides of the ball. We would take our first lead on the ensuing drive up 7-3. to three. And actually, we're going to get to those first half highlights right now on the Bobby Wallace Show. 62-63. Michael Schuster out of Decatur, Alabama. He'll approach the football at the 35. Puts the right foot into it. It is a short, high end over end kick. That'll sail to the three. It is short by his standards. And here coming back, cutting back to the 10. And we hook tie him right there. Had two check split left. They'll roll right, moving the pocket. Catches made, spinning is Seth Roberts. The freshman. They'll shuffle a tight end in motion. Caldwell gives, Swindle right corner. We're weak over there. He's got the first down, makes the edge. Caleb Massey comes in and makes the stop after a gain of 19. Wides to the right for Caldwell. Shotgun snap, he looks right. Throws and is batted away. Wow, if he could have picked that one off. Instead, it is deflected by Dimitri Orr, the tash mark. The angle is back to his right high snap. It is down and is kicked. It is up and good, and he stays perfect. Six of six. It's down. Grant will boot it away right to left, and it is very short of sky kick angling. Coming in, racing underneath, it's Filbert Marshall, 20. Filbert back up the middle of the field. He's got a whole 30. Breaks two more tackles and will fall forward. There's two wides left, one to the right, shuffling in motion, Coffee, The fake to Lamonte, they'll block for him, he throws over the middle to a wide open Smith, the grab is made at the 20 to the 10, and he'll rumble for a first and goal. Jason Smith on a deep post pattern, and the Lions knock it on the door. Lamonte, the running back. Chris Coffey, the offset running back. Inside the give now. Wingo cuts back in a great move. He'll shuffle into the end zone behind Tyler Sizemore. Touchdown, North Alabama. The backup tight end for West Al. First and 10 play. Up the middle, Swindle. Switches hands. 35, and he's up the boundary. He is loose. Swindle at the 40. He's out racing everybody, and he's going to go all the way to the end zone for the touchdown, cutting it to the boundary right in front of the UNA players. Wingo, long snap count. Fakes. Play action. Time to throw. Now comes out of the pocket, being chased by the linebackers. He'll throw, and Mayhall makes the grab for the first down. Here is Wingo from the near hash, working left to right, play action, now rolling to his left. He's a right-handed quarterback, looks for everybody, he's going to keep it. He's rolling to the 40, and he's got the first down and a gain of nine for UNA at the 30-and-a-half yard line. Here's Diamond Simmons, cuts between two blockers, 20, head first, steamrolls a defensive back. Near hash, kicking back against his body, the right footer puts this one up. This one is on the way, this one is good from 44 yards out. The wind helped and carries it through the upright. Alabama's Floyd Jones sneaking up as one of the safeties as we roll one deep and they want to throw. This is going to be a big star sack. Taylor Carney. And a slot receiver to the left side of the formation and they're looking that way. They throw it at the boundary, cutting back on this one. It is incomplete or did he come down with it? Oh, he made the grab, circus style. Filbert Marshall had played the best defense he could. Snapped the ball quickly. Spread formation, two wides either way, and a big hole up the middle. Breon James cut back, and he tripped on his own yard line. Caldwell, again, they'll go with a run, and we hit him behind the backfield. Dominique Duster, former Florence Falcon, will wrap up Cadrick Rhodes, the senior. Caldwell, straight drop back from the near hash, steps up, calls his own number. Goes left, goes right, angling to the pylon, and he'll scamper into the end zone, untouched. Pylon. And West Al with the lead. The kick, Grant. The wind behind it forces Marshall to take it at the one. Gallops to the 20. Marshall protecting the football, but it is stripped and it is turned over. And into the right side of the formation. In motion is Roberts, the wide receiver. They play action and roll. Setting. They'll throw back against the grain into a wide open Chad Tuchek. He beats Caleb Massey underneath the uprights to make the grab in the back of the end zone. And got UNA uh, for the touchdown. On the first play after the turnover, and the extra point is up and good. They connect from 19 yards out. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser, and by Southern Fastening. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, 10 more minutes, please. 10 more. Yes. Hey, Daddy, will you buy some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. First, there was Hammer and Nail. 
then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can't be beat. Welcome back to the Lions Trail at intermission 24 to 10. And coach, it's always about adjustments, especially when your trailing's two scores. The defense, though, probably made the biggest adjustments and played solid. Well, uh, defensively, we haven't given up, like I said earlier, at any point in the third quarter. Uh, we are playing a little soft at linebacker, but the main thing we were doing, we were get, uh, showing our hand too soon. Uh, Will does a great job. Will Hall, coach at West Alabama, does a great job at uh, seeing what you're going to play and then uh, calling his plays uh, based on that. And uh, you've got to disguise your things. You've got to disguise blitzes, coverages, uh, defensive fronts, and uh, – we were showing our hand too soon, and uh, they knew exactly what we were doing on every play, and that made it easier for them. Uh, you know, but I, like I said, he does a great job with that. I mean, it's not, uh, you, know, you know, not everybody can do that well. But uh, we made that adjustment to, to quit showing things so soon, and uh, that was really all on defense. Offensively, we felt like our protection was there. A couple of times, Luke didn't see open receivers uh, in the, uh, and, 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 and he took off running when really, you know, he could have stood in there and thrown the football down the field a little bit, but he had a great game. And, uh, you know, we felt like we could run it on him in the second half. And uh, wasn't a whole lot of adjustments there, just, you know, clean some things up. And, uh, you know, I thought that uh, kids came out with a second half. I mean, uh, went at 14 to nothing and put us back in overtime and almost, you know, had a chance there at the end to, uh, to win the game. And Luke, you know, he'll regret throwing that interception there at the end because all he had to do was throw it out of bounds and let us kick a field goal. Now we were in a tough situation. Will Craig was hurt. He hurt his uh, growing again kicking at halftime and uh, you know we were going to kick Michael Schuster which it was fine because he had a 45 yarder last week at the end of the half uh, against Valdosta mm -hmm. and he had plenty of range for that so uh, we didn't we, we shouldn't have thrown the football up but we'll learn from that. I doubt that ever happens again. Key play though backing up in that drive we have a fourth and one on our side of the football field we show punt, you call timeout, we go for it, we pick it up. Well, I changed my mind. You know, I decided <laughs> we were going to punt it, and I thought, man, that's, that's you know, everybody wanted to go for it. The players, the fans, uh, and, uh, I, you know, I have to make the call, but, man, that's don't play scared. Mm. And uh, what a great call, great effort by Luke. We didn't score, but it burnt the rest of the t time up before yeah. Luke throws the interception did not give West Alabama a chance with their great offense to go down the field and score and put us into overtime. Let's get to the third, fourth quarter, and the overtime highlights of UNH's 30 to 27 victory. Tied at seven, here's Grant, the right footer. And with the wind behind him, it's still a short kick taken by Diamond Simmons at the 13. 20, cuts up, buries the head, 24 yard line. And he is Mark uh, Martez Jackson with the tackle out of Demopolis. And just the ball needs to touch our own 35. Man in motion, shuffling the tight end. Cooks left side. They're going to run behind him. Overloading. Here's Wingo. Got the first down and two more. Up to the 37 goes North Alabama. Long snap count. Shotgun rolls right behind the block of coffee on the run throw. Smith's got the grab at the 49 across midfield on the boundary. He'll make the grab and shoved out far side of the formation. Working right to left up the gut keeper. Here's Wingo trying to curl around the linebacker. He'll make the edge 40. Cuts to the 35 and shuffles to the near boundary and out of bounds. Chasing him was Willie Packer. The defense. two receivers right that Smith, the inside guy. Jones on the out. Give up the middle. Here's Coffey gaping hole. Chris Coffey galloping. He'll go right up the gut to running along the hash mark to the 20. In the red zone, we were 2 of 2 in the first half in the money area. Now working to the right side is Cook. Play action to throw. Outside catch is made. Smith cuts it up 10. Far boundary. Here's a shuffle and a dive forward inside the 5 to the 3. Covered 17. The last play, a yard gain by Goodlow. Play action to Jamarcus. The throw wide open in the corner. Grant Lake. Oh, the tight end for the touchdown. The Lions have answered here in the opening moments of the third quarter. We trail by eight with the extra point coming. It's going to be on for this extra point. He'll kick to the left out of the hole of Crabtree. And this kick drives through, hooks and hits the scoreboard. It is good. And the Lions have fought to within seven 
motion, shuffling behind him. They'll work, and O'Neill is there to lead block. Swindle cuts it. Oh, and he's got another big run. He gashes for 12. Either way, two safeties deep. The Lions rush four. Gilbert Marshall plays soft, looking left. Crab through the whole way. He'll throw, but this one is caught right at the first down marker. First and 10, West out, working left to right. Into the gut, hand sweep. Big hole. Swindle's got it. It's been wide open. Play clock at 10. Caldwell still changing the play. It is at five, four, shotgun snap, straight drop. He'll throw, and the catch is made by two check, and he gets away from Levi Fell. Stiff arm at the 10, racing up the near boundary. Kayla Massey is there for the stop. Is Caldwell the junior quarterback from the far hash shotgun? Looks left, he'll throw. This is the fade in the end zone. It is up and incomplete, intended for two check. And Philbert Marshall, who was outmanned and outsized, had one tight end to the right side, that's Morgan. He'll block inside. They look on the slant. Everybody covered. Caldwell pulls up. It's intercepted. Snared out of the air by Tavares Wilson. The Lions have a stop on the INT. The Lions have picked up their 14th picks of the year. Four, two safeties deep, but they play within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage. Play action. Wingo wants to throw. He's got a man open. Jones is wide open. Jones, he's got the grab. He's going to go to the house. Corey at the 30. He's being chased 20. Corey at the 10. He's dragged down at the four-yard line. The play will cover 90 yards. Empty backfield. Two extra tackles. Winston comes in straight ahead. Luke over the top. It is a touchdown. Over the top as he'll stretch the pigskin across the goal line. We are an extra point away from tying it. Mabry Cook, the snapper, on the money. The kick on the way. This one by Schuster. Splits the sticks. The senior out of Decatur will nod it at 24. We've got a game. A pair of wides either way for the senior QB, Gary Johnston. He's only been in for one series. Here's his second appearance with UNA rushing six. Looks right. Throws, and it is intercepted. A stop. Tavares Wilson is second of the game. He'll get up to the 10 the second time. We slam the door shut. Caldwell throws. Catches made on the first play of overtime. Snapped back up the middle. It's going to be a keeper. Caldwell breaks a tackle. Caldwell strutting towards the sideline. He's got a first down to the 10. In the end zone to our right. Play action. They'll want to throw. Spinning away from Carney. Blocking the back. No cup. They're going to throw in the corner to a wide open receiver, but it's over the head. Floyd Jones just outside either hash. Long snap. Speed option. It's a keeper. Caldwell pitches it back late. It is caught by Swindle, and he is mowed down for a loss. He'll lose two and a half. Four wides in the game. They look left. Pump fake. Caldwell's going down. We force him to the turf. Taylor Carney on the rush. He'll lose yardage, and this no gimme. One kick today. This from 33. On the way. The kick is up, and it is good. Just inside the uprights on the left side. But UNA can win it with a touchdown, as we're only down three in overtime. Three, here's our possession in overtime. One wide out split either way. We haven't shown this formation. There is a tight end on the wing to the right. Wingo gives, Lamonte left side makes the corner, Lamonte up the far boundary, Lamonte 15, he'll hurdle a player and go inside the 10. But I think there is a marker down at the 23. So Wingo puts a man in motion, the tight end Cook. Play action, Noah give, Lamonte cuts it up, breaks a tackle, get a block from the quarterback, and he'll pick up about seven, but behind the original line of scrimmage. Overtime number one, we're down 27-24. Tight end to the right, here's Wingo. Takes the snap, play action, throws, catches made Smith, 20. Stutter step down the far hash, and he'll work to the 15, right at the first down marker. Smith comes split way out to the right side of the formation. Coffee shuffles to the right side. Now the wing and the tight end. Lake ahead of Mabry Cook to the right side. They'll come set, snap, ahead goes Luke. Wingo's got the first down. Luke spins, Luke's at the five, Luke's into the end zone. We've done it. The Lions win it. The Lions win it. Wingo up the middle for the touchdown for 15 yards. What a play. What a play, J.D. Oh, my goodness. Luke Wingo, what an athletic play by Luke. Just tremendous. Coach Wallace is fired up as I've ever seen him, patting and hugging everyone. What a play. I have never seen anything like it. Listen to him. The Lions 
have just won at least a share of the Gulf South Conference Championship. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by the Bishop Automotive Group and by Hometown Market. Buy any newer pre-owned vehicle from Jim Bishop Toyota and get Bishop's benefits, including a lifetime warranty, oil changes for life, car washes, complimentary loaner cars, Toyota rental cars on site, special discounts, service coupons, and more. No matter what you choose, from an inexpensive pre-owned vehicle to a brand new fuel-efficient Toyota Camry, you'll be treated right. Why would you shop anywhere else? Take advantage of Bishop's benefits at Jim Bishop Toyota today. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. And back on the Bobby Wallace Show, the Lions, a historical win at Brawley Stadium. Big, big crowd, 30 to 27. They do it in overtime, downing the Tigers. Coach, that brings us to the part of the game where we have our Frostbite and Montague's player of the game, and it's the quarterback for North Alabama, Luke Wingo. He had a tough night, but got it done in the end. Well, he had a great night, uh, but then, you know, he did have some interceptions. So, y'all, uh, he rushed for about 70 something yards and threw for 220 something yards. So, uh, uh, you know, or 250. I, you know, just a great game. Uh, we had some great receivers uh, that made some great catches for him. And, uh, but the biggest thing was, you know, at the end of the game, you know, Luke is a true sophomore. And uh, at the end of the game, he makes a big mistake to throw the interception uh, to keep us from having a chance for a field goal to win the game. He comes right back. Not only does he come back, we get first and 20 on a holding penalty. And he still converts it down there and puts the ball in the end zone himself to score the game winning touchdown. And, you know, that. That speaks volumes of his character. A lot of people, you know, he didn't have his head hung down. He didn't uh, uh, worry about that interception. He just won the football game for us. Down a field goal in overtime, Luke Wingo would step up and carry it in from 16 yards out, the game winner. Smith comes split way out to the right side of the formation. Coffee shuffles to the right side. Now the wing and the tight end. Lake ahead of Mabry Cook to the right side. They'll come set, snap. Ahead goes Luke. Wingo's got the first down. Luke spins. Luke's at the five. Luke's into the end zone. We've done it. The Lions win it. The Lions win it. Wingo up the middle for the touchdown for 15 yards. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by Montagues and Frostbite. TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, 
So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Football and food go together. Montague's menu offers a variety of game day edibles, like the cheese steak, specialty burgers, the specialty Reuben, and even Polish dogs. For the health conscious, there's a salad menu too. Montague's, corner of Pine and Chisholm in Florence. Frostbite Frozen Treats, just blocks from the stadium, offers a unique experience. Next to Montague's, at the corner of Pine and Chisholm, it's customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by, and then it's just a matter of weighing and paying. Frostbite, next to Montague's, and on Facebook. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. So 30-27, to 27, the Lions get a great overtime win over West Alabama. Redemption for last year in our regular season finale. Lost down at their place. Coach, a big statistic today. In a 30-27 to 27 win, we were perfect in the red zone, 5-5. Five of five. Well, That's awesome, man. That's great. Uh, great job by players executing and uh, getting the ball in the end zone. And, you know, our defense, again, didn't let them score in the third quarter. That's becoming a, you know, a really fun stat. And, uh, you know, just, you know, comeback win like that against a very, very good football team in the atmosphere we had tonight. I, I can't speak, you know, volumes for, the, for our players, their character, what they believe in, the intangibles that we preach, and uh, all that came to play today. And still a conference game to play to solidify yeah, half of the conference yeah, I championship. Yeah, I've got my work cut out this week. I mean, we just beat Valdosta at Valdosta by large margin and win this game, two emotional games, okay. games that we had to have and against good football teams and programs. and. Uh, you know, now we're playing Florida Tech, who you know is first year football. They, I think they play, play people well, uh, and we got to go down there. Two long trips ahead of us, and I got to get the kids. We got to win that game to win the conference championship. I mean, we, you know, we talked about playing for a ring tonight, but it, the, the job is not finished, and we've got to finish that job next Saturday for the championship for the conference. They've won two of their last three, so uh, you know things are really going to shake out here with the NCAA region uh, situations in Super Region Two. Two road games ahead, Coach. Can't say, though, enough about this crowd that came out and supported you tonight. Oh, man, I, it, it was wonderful. I knew we were going to have a good crowd. I didn't know it was going to be really that good and that vocal and that end of the game. And, of course, it was an exciting game, kind of like what we predicted all week. An overtime win. The Lions win it 30-27 to over the Tigers of West Alabama. For Coach Bobby Wallace, I'm J.D. Byers. We'll see you next time on The Bobby Wallace Show. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 630.